Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are on Thingiverse. So let's say you have something in mind that you want to print, right? Well, you're obviously going to go to Thingiverse and you're going to search for that thing. So let's say I want to pe print a pencil holder. So I'll search up pencil holder and I'm going to see all these different results. Well, now is a problem. Well, there's hundreds of these guys because like, all right, there's at least four pages and oh there's more than four pages and they all have like 10 or 15 items on them so now you're stuck with this predicament where you don't know what to print well we can make this pretty simple the first thing the very first thing you want to do is go over here to relevant and you're wanna gonna switch to most makes now what that's gonna do is it's going to show them in order of how many people have made them so you see this one is 27,000 likes this one has 11,000, 10,000, 9,000, 3,000. So what I'm saying is these have been made over and over and over again. So people have had success with these. And people aren't going to be printing things that are really difficult to print or annoying and, and fail a lot. So that means that you're going to be finding one, prints that are super easy to print, that your Mantis 3D printer can handle with no problem, and two, the best quality of anything on Thingiverse. Because yes, a lot of people put things on Thingiverse, but they are not all the same quality. You know, so you'll find things that are just a little bit worse than others. But here, what you're doing is weeding out to the very best of the best. So we look at this. We've actually printed this on our Mantis 3D printer before, and it looked beautiful. Like it was incredible. And we also have printed this guy on here before, but if you look at any of these other prints, right, they all look really easy to print. And that's the reason we're doing this is because we want to find easier prints that you have the best chance of printing successfully. So you're going to look at this pen holder here and nothing is more of an overhang than 45 degrees. So that means it's not going to fail. It's not going to f sag or, or crash the print. However, this guy, this looks like impossible to print, right? It's hanging straight up in the air. Well, upon further inspection, you'll see that it's just a bunch of different parts, and each of those parts will be printed flat individually on your Mantis 3D printer, and then you assemble it later. Therefore, it will be a nice and easy print anyway. And let's look at some more. This one looks like a cup, and even the arms have like less than a 45 degree angle. And this cup, this is just a cup. This has no overhangs, like maybe his chin, but I think it's rounded off to the point where... um. Yeah, you'll see it's not like straight out, it's it's kind of curved up, so that should be printed pretty easily. But what I'm trying to show here is that what you'll want to do first time after you search for anything, you just want to switch to most makes, and that will guarantee that you get the best of the best every time, and make sure that you have the best chance of a successful print from your Mantis 3D printer. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I can try to clarify something for you or help you out figuring out what you want to print. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment down below what you'd like to see next, and we'll see you in the next video.